Hey guys, JR Bricks here, and um, recently I really effed up badly. Um, that live stream that I just did where I built all these minute figures and talked about them and stuff like that for 18 minutes, 19 minutes, um, I just deleted that by accident. Yeah, I'm, I'm really dumb. Yeah, I deleted that upload by accident, so I'm sorry about that, guys, that you can't see these be um, built. But I really wanted to get a review out there for them anyway. I'm really sorry about that, guys. But anyway, to start off with my favorite one of all, we got Jack Torrance here. He is from The Shining. In case you haven't seen The Shining, it's a really scary um, movie. It's one of the scariest movies that are out there, uh, according to many. What was that? I heard something. Alright, maybe it's just the lamp turning on or something like that. I don't know. Even though I'm the only one in the house, you know, that'd be creepy. But, um, yeah, basically, this is Jack Torrance. He's from The Shining. Um, in case you haven't seen The Shining, it's a really good book. It was first a book in 1977, then it was made into a movie. So, basically, this is my custom uh, Jack Torrance minifigure. Um, I gave him this little jacket. The jacket is off color, uh, obviously. Because um, it's based off of Kassan Andor from Rogue One. That's the torso right there. The black is the black um, little legs there uh, are basically just um, you know normal, normal, normal black legs you can find in any set. Mainly Batman. But the hair actually really does suit him. I do like that. Um, it's actually from Lex Luthor's. Uh, well, I'm not Lex Luthor. Um, uh, Batman versus Superman set. Um, the 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 head is actually from Kite Man, which is from the Riddler Racer set. Um, I have that. I'll be doing a review on this. So um, there's two faces on this. Uh, I decided to do the happy one because he probably just found his wife in the bathroom trying to escape from him, and he's chopping down that door. He's chopping it down like a cherry tree, chopping down like George Washington chopping down that cherry tree. Um, so he's really happy that he's going to kill his wife. Then you can turn his face into anger when she slices his hand with a knife, which he doesn't know she has. Uh, thanks to that one guy watching right now. Shout out to you, whoever you are. <clears throat> um, and this is the axe, obviously, that he uses to chop down the, um, the door. And he doesn't chop it down, he just chops through it and says, here's Johnny. Uh, and then this one right here is the girl from the rings. Um, you can put basically any face underneath there. I just chose Magneto. You can put any face underneath there because it will be covered by hair. Um, yeah, so I just used a blank um, white torso right there. I turned it around. This is actually from an exclusive minifigure that I call Birthday Boy. I'm not sure who exactly the minifigure is, but uh, it's a pretty cool minifigure. I uh, actually lost the minifigure, but uh, I had the torso, so I decided to use it for this. <clears throat> um, the white, right, the white little printing down here, I think it's from, like, an Imperial guy or something like that. I don't know. You can really find some just white legs in many sets. Many, many sets. Next up, we have Slenderman, who is probably the most detailed and most accurate of all of these minifigures. Just a plain white face from the Lego, um, a Batcave set. And just plain white face, nothing nothing on the back, nothing on the front, nothing on the side. There's really never anything on the side for minifigures. But, um, the suit is actually from Lex Luthor, from the Lex Luthor set. Um, the one where he's going up against, you should paint custom figs. Yeah, I probably should do that. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. I just don't, I don't think I can do that without screwing up. So basically, this is the Slender Man. I actually did a, a build and review of him. Oh, I do. Oh, cool. That's really cool. <clears throat> Maybe you should post a video on your channel, uh, Blake, of you painting one. Use glossy paint. I don't even know what that is. So basically, this is Slender Man here. Um, he has the Lex Luthor torso uh, and just regular black, black printing down here. I think he's the most detailed of all these minifigures. 
So, so far, we have three more left. Uh, we got Jack Torrance, Smooth Shining, The Girl from the Rings, and Slender Man. So, let's go next to Pennywise. No, no we're going to go last. Um, next up, we got Mike Myers, or Michael Myers, whatever you want to call him. I call him Michael Myers because I've never heard anyone call him Mike. Uh, especially since no one knows him, because anyone that knows him is probably dead. Um, so basically, this is Michael Myers here. Uh, he wears blue just throughout the whole film, so I just decided to do that. Uh, unfortunately, I, I turned this around. This is actually from Jay. Uh, Jay from Ninjago, I think that. Yeah, Ninjago. That's the only Jay I know. Hmm. Yeah. Um, if Lego, which I doubt, ever made some Michael Myers hairpiece, I would definitely recommend using this hairpiece. Um, if anybody makes a Michael Myers hairpiece, you have to use this because, I mean, not hairpiece, minifigure, you have to use this hairpiece because this is very accurate to his hair in the movie. Now, Lego has really me never made any official, like, knives. I mean, they've made a couple in, like, Lego City sets, but they don't really want to go to a war theme. Like, they've never made a tank or anything like that other than Star Wars. So they tend to stay away from that. You don't really see knives much in Lego sets. So that's why I had to put in this little dagger here. Which you can get in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets when they were around. And, um, and, and obviously Ninja. So far we got Halloween movie here. Thunderman, Rings, and The Shining. Halloween is movie is a very good movie. Um, first and second were very good. After that, um, they were very bad. Yeah. Uh, I just didn't understand them. Like, when the third came out, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, even though I wasn't born yet, I just never really understood it anyway. You know, he just kept dying and 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 dying. And, dying. and somehow he came back. Uh, I mean, I don't understand. Like, he got shot, like, five times, six times in the chest. Maybe he has a chest protector on, but anyway, he fell from a two-story window outside. And the sheriff goes right to the window to check to see. He's lying on the ground there dead, and he's not there. So I don't know how he recovers that quickly. But another guy I would not definitely want to cross paths with. Another scary guy, um who um, has a very well-known, popular movie franchise, would be Jason Voorhees. This is actually how he originally um, was in the Friday the 13th franchise. Um, in case you didn't know, he is um, a kid who drowned, a deformed kid, unfortunately, uh, who was bullied a lot, which... Um, he went for a swim one night. I'm not sure if he was intentionally drowning himself or if he drowned by accident. I'm not sure. Um, and you should correct me if you've seen the movies. Um, I've played the game before, so that's how I know this skin is a thing. Do a face review on 130 subs. Maybe, maybe I will. I'm not sure. Mm, I'm not sure when I will do a face review accidentally. What do you mean accidentally, Blake? star, I don't know, um, yeah, so basically this is how he appeared first, um, his first appearance was in, like, a little farmer's outfit that was blue, he did die, yeah, he did die, he was, I think, chop, I think she, like, stabbed him, yeah, he drowned in, in a lake, he basically drowned in a lake, I'm not sure if he did it intentionally, though, or if he just wasn't a good swimmer or something like that, but I know he did drown uh, accidentally, yeah, he did, Okay, he drowned it accidentally. All right, hmm. Yeah. So anyway, he died, yeah, he drowned accidentally, unfortunately, and his mom, his mommy got her head chopped off, and, because she was killing all the counselors, and then he basically comes around, and uh, this is how he dresses. He's very angry, pissed that his mom got her head chopped off, so now he wants to avenge her death. Um, I don't know how that's going to do anything, like, right? Like, okay, yes, I understand your mommy died, but basically everybody she killed is dead. Uh, except for one person, the person that killed her. So why don't you go kill her? Why do you have to kill, like, 
threw out eight movies. I don't know. It's like those people threw out the other eight movies or whatever have nothing to do with your mom's death. So you could have just chilled, man. Could have just taken a break. Could have just watched TV or something like that. Could have watched your own movie, man. But uh, this is how he appeared in his first movie as the hash slinging slasher. Um, no, 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 I'm just kidding. Um, no, this is how he, how he first appeared. Uh, his first weapon was actually an axe. I do know that because, um, I don't know, I just know that somehow. And then he eventually found, I think, the mask. Um, you know, he eventually found that Halloween mask that we all know um, for him to wear. And that machete and that jacket. Uh, he probably killed a motorcycle guy for that jacket. I don't know. But who knows? I don't know. He got that jacket and that pants and and uh, that mask. And the machete from somewhere. Probably from the dead people that his mommy killed. Uh, but he did appear with a white, um, a white mask. Not mask. Hood in the first movie with some... You know, little holes poked out there. But I can't really punch any holes into a Lego minifigure. Um, I, the only thing I'm disappointed is that, you know, this minifigure isn't really accurate. Because, as I said, guys, this is um, basically just pieces that I have and put them together. You know, I don't really buy anything and put it together uh, like that. You know, not I don't specialize in like minifigure customization, so I'm like my whole channel's not based off of that. If it was, I'd probably buy it off of like Brick Arms or whatever. I don't know what the websites are called, but uh, I'd probably buy it off of the set that special on site that specializes in minifigures that are custom built. So basically, this is um, the Friday Thirteenth original Jason. You can't really. Put the hockey mask on him. Like, you can't make that minifigure without, like, getting someone to paint it for you or something like that. So next up, to celebrate it, I actually did another video on this live. Uh, where I built, well, I didn't build, um, I did build it first, but I didn't build it live. But I did a review on Deal Float 2 mock, the title screen from the movie It. Uh, I think that's what they call movies when a movie comes out. Um, and a picture comes with the movie, uh, that associates with the movie, I'm pretty sure that's called title screen. So basically, the mock that I did is based off of that. You can always see the video for it, um, actually I have part of it right here. So, basically just put Pennywise right here, and he's giving the balloon to Danny, or whoever that is, I, I don't know. I saw the movie, but I, I honestly don't remember the kid's name. I mean, he only appeared for a short time before he got his arm chewed off and then mauled by a, a demonic clown. <clears throat> so basically, guys, this is Pennywise, the dancing clown. Uh, you can just call him Pennywise, whatever. You can't really call him Pennywise before you're dead. So you can't say, hey, what up, Pennywise? Don't kill me because you're already dead. Uh, so basically, this is supposed to be a balloon. Yeah, it's a really suckish balloon. I wish I could have put it this way. Um, I wish I could have found a, a way to do that. Because then it looks more of a balloon. More like a balloon. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't really look like a balloon either way. But, uh, yeah. Basically, so this is my Pennywise Mayfair. This is from the Lightning uh, lightning Glad here. This little hair piece. The, um, the torso and the legs is from a mime. That came out in series something. Uh, the face is obviously the Joker. Iconic face right there. And the bow tie is just um, from Bruce Wayne. So, alright guys. Um, I'll see you later. Uh, don't forget about my giveaway. Because I think this is going to do it for this video. But, uh, yeah, that's those are the main figures right there. So let me know, guys, what you think about the minifigures. Do you think they're terrible? Do you think they're good? Or do you think they're tremendous? Do you think they're scary? Do they think? Do you think that they look like they're going to kill you? Or do you think that they just look like something, I don't know, that's not harmless? Uh, so basically, guys, uh, let me know what you think about this video. I'll be, I am in the process of doing a giveaway. I'm giving away a May 4th R2-D2 buildable figure 
and then, which are both exclusive, um, and also the Milano from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and I'm pretty sure it appeared in Volume 1 also. Um, yeah. So basically, guys, this is the video. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, try not to be too harsh in the comments. I know some of these guys are not good. Probably the most detailed is Slenderman. He's probably the most accurate, and the girl from the rings are probably the probably the most accurate main figures on this list. Uh, sorry guys for deleting the build on this, but um, I, at least I got to do a review on it instead of having to do a separate build and separate review. Um, so thanks guys for watching, and um, I'll float to, I mean, I'll post some more videos later on, and um, thanks for watching. Peace out.